I have here now all the signal cables for the amplifier. Speaker cables, rear front, RCA cables, rear front and subwoofer. This Android has only uh, mono subwoofer output. Cables for the radio. This is uh, RCA cable rear and here is RCA cables front and subwoofer. Of course remote cable. I just uh, taped it to the subwoofer RCA. These are double shielded RCA cables. I hope I don't have any strange noises. So warm in here. Now I have all the cables here, front, rear, subwoofer. I'm not going to label these. Uh, I can just try to the amplifier which is rear, which is front. Of course the subwoofer is only mono. All here. This one is rear. I'll just put it here. This seems to be pretty tight. I think I will put some some tape here, some electric tape. This one is actually going here. I have to take this away, connect this here and connect this here like so. This one is going here. I hope it will click. So that's the front front RCA. Red one, white one. So now I will just tape this a little bit. Just to be sure. Everything should be fine here now. This should go here, no problem. I actually dropped one of these screws here somewhere. I can't find it. I have to find another one more screw. I always try to use as much possible these original support points for the original cables, that my cables won't stress too much these original cables. It's actually quite surprising how long this kind of thing will take. It seems to be a very easy fast job, but <laughs> it's really not. It will take some time to get these cables from the front to the back. Some of these edges are very sharp and it will break the cable or this uh, shield of this cable if it's touching that. So I have to be careful where I will take these cables. I think I will use the, the original cable that's for the antenna and I'm going to use it to attach this cable. This is pretty sturdy. Now at the same time I have to think about these uh, speaker cables. In the door is a base and uh, this tweeter is up here on the dashboard. A crossover I think I will leave here somewhere. So cable for the tweeter that's not a problem, that's easy, easy to take. This cable to the door that's a little bit more complicated. I have to look at that later. I will leave here a little bit extra speaker cable and I will take this cable back and also from the rear door at the same time. <laughs> 
there is lots of these uh, cars electric cables but I just can't avoid these cables just hope that this won't give any strange noises there's lots of space but it's not easy to reach and the last one so now these are here Sometimes when the RCA cable quality is bad and it will go next to the car's original cables, it might give some kind of whining noise to the speakers. Uh, hopefully I don't have to deal with this problem. Sometimes those are very hard to get rid of. There is some kind of aftermarket uh, ground isolator things between the RCA cable and that might help. Doesn't even look original, that's strange. Maybe it is original. Now I have to also here leave some speaker cable for the rear speaker. In modern cars it might be a little bit tricky to get a new cable to the door because they use connectors for these cables. Later I have to find some kind of solution for that. Okay, now it's getting a little bit tricky to get these cables from here to here. And of course I have to take care of these, uh, these seats when these are folding that those won't uh, press these cables. I think I can get these here somehow inside. Just a little bit pain in the ass to get there. I wasn't even trying to film this this part, but it's so tight place and it should work here even if I fold this uh, seat. I fit few holes to this plastic that I can attach these cables with cable ties just to hold these cables in place. So here are, here are now all the cables and I also put some uh, uh, cable ties here that those won't move here and this seat when I fold it it won't touch in any point to those cables so that's a good thing and I will also hide these cables under this, this board here here is space so these are kind of invisible uh, this amplifier, I don't know yet where I will install it, but it also depends how long are these uh, cables. Power cable I will, of course, take from other side because this battery is in, in this side. By the way, if you are getting something like this, I recommend that you get some kind of uh, screen protector here. It's going to scratch very easy, only because of your fingers and some dust, which is there. I think for me it's a little bit too late now. I could maybe get that it's not getting worse, but I think it's fine. Now I can finally install this panel. I think here I don't have to do anything anymore. And luckily I also found this one screw what I lost four screws two here two here and then this panel I think it sits pretty good here and down here I have two screws which I have to screw. So then this one so then this one so It's 
been a long time since I had this panel and also actually this glove box. At least with this uh, radio I think I don't have to do anything anymore behind. I hope. Next, power cable for the amplifier. 